service announcement. These videos have the full intentions to be used as conversational tools and purposes only. Anything that is expressed in these videos and videos before and after has the sole purpose of that reason. I know a lot of this stuff is repetitive. I hope that you can understand that. Again, these are for conversational purposes only. The comment box on these videos is for that purpose. Thanks for watching. What's going on everybody? This is a part two to the part one video that I uploaded about four or five days ago regarding Cash Days OKC versus Texas. And I had kind of dropped a few hints in the video about you know who won and whatnot and most everyone that I talked to said it would be Chief. The show kind of made a big deal about Chief not winning one, it was going to be his first and that sort of thing and with Chief being the threat to most people that he is right now, especially on the streets, everyone said that it would be Chief. But Daddy Dave brought home number five and I didn't want to say it in the last video, I didn't want to ruin it for everyone. but. It's not real hard to figure out who wins these things when, if you look around in the background and see how many people is actually there, and especially if you have newer and upcoming people that hasn't had very much TV time on a show like this, they tend to want to talk more than people who has made a living out of racing on television for the past eight years. So. It is possible to find out who one person tells a couple of people, those couple of people tell a couple of people, and before you know it, the cat is out of the bag. As I said in the last video, you know, the deal with Murder Nova winning the big cash days in OKC, everyone knew it before it happened. This one was a little more hush hush, and everyone kept it under the hats. As you know, these people sign waivers to get in to these events to watch them, and that cracks down on the word getting out. But to talk about what happened during that cash days, I'm really not gonna talk much about the first round the week before. I wanna talk more about the second one. If you wanna hear what my thoughts was on the first one, there is a part one to this video. It should be the video right before this one if you look in my videos. Go check it out if you are completely lost on what happened at the OKC vs. Texas Cash Days. But even from the beginning, the right lane was the faster lane. It is almost a repeat of Cash Days that happened, I want to say it might have been in 2017. It was not one televised, it was a real illegal type Cash Days. All of the OKC was there. It was not the one where Shane and the Bird Brothers raced in the finals and the law got them. It would have been after that, but it come down to Murder Nova, and if I'm not mistaken, it was a little S10 pickup. Not sure who the driver was. I can't remember. It's been too long ago, but same scenario. One lane was the winning lane, and a small tire S10 outrun the Murder Nova in the finals. It all come down to the coin flip, just like it did this past week, and whoever won the coin flip won the money. And it is what it is. I mean, I really, truly thought Chief had the best chance just by watching the cars. Even though I knew that it was gonna be Daddy Dave, it did ruin it for me, but I kinda looked at it from a perspective of who I thought had the best car on the property that night. And I do truly think it was Chief. Chief knows roads. People just have special talents when it comes to anything in life. Certain people are better at it than others. Some people are better at shooting free throws than others. Somebody can throw a football longer than others. Some people can just drive, drift, whatever. And Big Chief can read a road and put a tune in it and know when to bring how much boost and all that. He just knows his stuff. He's done it his whole life. Stayed away from tracks, you know, prep type surfaces and a virgin road is the Murder Nova and Chief's biggest ally. They are the best when it comes to this. And Daddy Dave is no slouch, don't get me wrong. And if Daddy Dave hadn't just swapped to twin turbos, I would say that he would be 
you know, right there with him. It would be a tie for who was first. But with him swapping his twin turbos, even though he knows his stuff, there is still a learning curve when it comes to that sort of thing. Now, the road day race on every night in OKC, yeah, there's not going to be that much of a learning curve. He did drop down a few spots, but I do feel like right now, Daddy Dave has, I want to say, the fastest car the 405 has. He is, without a doubt, the best, or one of the best at least, drivers. And also now, has one of the fastest cars, if not the fastest. Daddy Dave ended up winning, winning the money, and that's it. You know, the Cody Baker shake and bake car, he made it to the third rounds. He outrun Monza, but he had the right hand lane. Monza rolled out, shook the tires, that was it. And whoever was in the right hand lane won the race. Every race was the same. Right hand lane won. The race was won or lost at the coin flip. There isn't much to talk about because that is the whole episode, the right hand lane. You win, that's it. And there's only one or two things that I can think of that I would even like to talk about that has nothing really to do with who won or the races, but things in between and stuff that I want to bring up that most of you may have seen but didn't pay a whole lot of attention to. And number one, and that is Kamikaze. Kamikaze, the driver slash owner of the Elko, if you keep up with No Prep Kings, you know that the Elko is rolling out. He's got it figured out for the most part. He hasn't brought it back to the list, but I don't think he is to that point yet. I don't think that, although the car is insane fast, I don't think it is competitive enough to race the guys on the show. Even if he goes to No Prep Kings and goes out first round, he still is making a lot of money, t-shirts and whatnot. Everyone loves the Elko. The Elko has always been an underdog and the majority of the world loves to see an underdog finish first. That's why I think most people are attracted to the Elko as far as him and Kamikaze as a combo. Also the deal with Flip, you know, it has memories. It has, you know, a story behind it that people want to see that car win. But the reason I bring up Kamikaze, he's there all the time, and he was helping Daddy Dave tune his car. I thought that was neat i thought it was kind of awesome i thought that I, I didn't see it coming at all i know daddy dave has just swapped kamikaze has also made a swap about a year prior to that but kamikaze i'm not sure if he was tuning it or if he was going over dave's tune or he was just kind of messing with it looking at it and trying to figure out this and that to you know put a tune in his car which wasn't there but for future reference or whatever I'm not sure but I thought it was a good little addition to the show the next thing that I want to talk about is Chuck Chuck Sightsinger Chucky Chucky be driving he's always a little different than everyone else he always has been I'm not sure exactly how to put it in words as far as what I'm saying I'm going to put on the screen right now a couple of clips of Chuck in this cash days at the driver's meeting when Chief is talking to him and him talking to his crew, it's three or four different clips. And watch how out of the ordinary and just wild-eyed and just the stuff that he's talking and how fast he's talking and stuff is so out of character for him and how crazy he sounds by doing it. And I think that the production, the editors and stuff, they pick out stuff like this just to you know, make the people look good, bad, dumb, whatever. But it made Chuck look like he was strung out and fiending for his next hit. Like I said, I know this video is going to get 10,000 plus views of people that may know the Street Outlaws, may not, may just love the show, may hate me, may like me, whatever. And I am not saying that he was on something or is on something or anything. On the streets. Gee, you brought your team? Birdman and Marillo, y'all got y'all's team together? How many cash days have y'all been in? Everybody raise your hand. Oh, you've all been in cash days. Wow. Okay. How many have you won? Okay. How many have you won? How many have you won? I've, I've only been in one cash okay. days. Okay. I'm just yeah. asking. We are very confident. We have confident. We have confident. We have confident. We have first round. So, the first round, and then after the first, I don't. Okay. 
buy-in? Yeah, yeah. I like cash day. You should be at least a minimum $500 buy-in. You're going to be out there? I'm going to be out far enough where you can see. You're going to pull each car in? As far as a driver and someone who is loyal to the, you know, the list and all that, I like him. But this is something that I just can't overlook. I actually said all this in my last video, but I did not put it in there because I wasn't sure wasn't sure what to do with it but you've seen the clips you make your own decision the next thing I want to talk about is the saga of Chief and Dave this whole season on Street Outlaws it's been back and forth back and forth for one and two and then it comes down to them two in the finals of this cash days and it's not really that surprising because if they're racing back and forth for the number one spot on the show then that means they are the fastest and they really should be the ones that's racing for it at cash day so you know it is what it is but what dave said in his pre-race interview is he would always give it 100 percent against anybody and chief is no exception to that rule but as we've seen dave has become a member of Midwest street cars and you know is part of the little clique him Sean and chief is a you know little group and He said that although he wanted to win he needed the money He wanted to, you know just to win the title of cash days winner again He did say that he wanted to see chief win so it would be a bittersweet victory I don't think anyone else would ever say that I don't know what his angle for saying that was other than it just being how he truly felt, but it was a little strange in my book, and I feel like that if you're out there on that level, you should always, no matter what, want to be the one to come out on top. I don't know. You give me your thoughts in the comments, but that's really all that happened. Danny Dave, number five, win at a cash days, a real deal, limpy, organized cash days, and Chief still has not won one at all. That's it. Email address is across the screen. Anything you want me to know, say, do, or have, there you go. Giveaways are still going on. Um, P.O. Box is also on the screen. My shirt's still the first link in the description. Anybody who orders a shirt is also entered to win the 50 bucks. So if you want something for your money, there you go. Go get a shirt. One of the most comfortable shirts there is. Thank you for watching. Godspeed, and I will see you in the next one.